Hi, I'm Duncan from 65, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Google Doc with multiple page orientations within it. So some portrait, some landscape. Let's get straight into it. All right, so here's my document. I've got, uh, just so you can see the text, I've got page one with a title and it says portrait on it. So that's gonna be our normal page. Then we've got page two landscape and page three portrait again, okay? So let's start by first of all, inserting page breaks. So these are all on their own pages and I'm gonna do that by pushing command and enter on my uh, keyboard, okay? And so that's gonna give me now three pages in my document. You can see on my slider over here, I've now got two of three, three of three with the page breaks in between them, okay? Now uh, you can alter your page layout by using file and page setup. And what that will do is give you pages, pages, you know, change your margins, change your paper size, so on and so forth. You can even change the paper color, which is kind of fun. Um, and what that will do is, is update everything in the document. Okay, so if, let's say if I go landscape here and I click OK, now you can see all of my pages. I'll just drop the summary there for a sec. All of my pages are now nice and wide and they're landscape, right? But let's say I want page two, uh, as I do here, this one to only be landscape, I want everything else to be portrait. So first up, let's go to page setup. I'm going to change uh, whole document to portrait. Let's uh, just go back to that so we can make sure that's right. There we go, and there's page one, two, three. And then the next thing I do is because my cursor is on page two, uh, you can do this page by page. So let's do that first. So I can go, um, just this selected content. So let's just select it. Then I can go file, page setup, selected content. I want that to be landscape, click OK. So let's see what's happened there. So I'm going page one, okay. Then I've got, uh, well, I can clear that up in a sec, but then you can see how this one now, page two is landscape. And then I've got page three down the bottom, okay. So I can just clean up that uh, there and we've still got then a page one, page two, page three. So now I've got some mixed pages. What happens if I've got multiple pages that I want to have, um, uh, you know, in landscape or, or changed, right? And, and they're consecutive pages. So this way you can do certain pages quite easily down the document. Um, so the way you do that, and I'm gonna just reset this. So we go all the way back whole document, okay, landscape, sorry, whole document is portrait. Okay, so the way we do that is we're going to create a section. So let's also just do this. Let's create page four for a second. So we've got, what we'll do is we'll make two, page two and three. No, uh, we're gonna make page two and three. Uh, uh, let's keep this one. Okay, let's keep that one portrait. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna change page three to also be landscape, right? There it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a, a section break. So I'm gonna go insert break. I'm gonna call this a section break. I'm gonna pop that in here. Um, now I already had the page break in there as well that I did with a keyboard. So I'm just gonna take that hit backspace and get rid of that page break. So now I've got page one. Where's my page two? Oh, there's my page two. Okay, so let's move my page two. All right, grand, still got five pages. We'll fix that in a sec. Uh, now that one's landscape. Now the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then I'm gonna insert another one, section break, just before page four. Now that means now that I've got page three on its own page, page four on its own page, page two back here, and I've still got two, let's just, oh, portrait. That's because I've got a page break in there as well and it's um, broken with things. All right, cool. So now in theory, I've got some section breaks. I can go to view and show section breaks. Okay, now so you can see the little dotted line there. So after page one, there's a section break. I've got page two, there appears to be another one there, page three and then page four. So, okay, seem to have too many section breaks. Not quite sure why that is. But now what I can do is go file and page setup. And I can say, you know, from section two, I want this to be a landscape. So instead of using whole document, I'm gonna use section two. I'll click on okay. And now if I get rid of my summary, you'll see I've now got section, page two's a uh, um, now landscape. 
Now let's also go page setup and go this section on landscape. Okay, so now page two, page three are all going to be landscape. And then if I want page four, go page setup, and I'll go this section portrait. Okay, now page four is portrait. So now I've got a continuous section, page two, page three of landscape, and then page four is back to portrait. So that is how you make your documents with multiple different page layouts and page formats as you go through. And obviously when that means you print it, you're gonna get some portrait, some landscape, and it's gonna make your life a lot easier when you're laying out documents. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next video.